the radical Kantian position is that it's only yourself who authorizes yourself. This is, and again, you can see it's something very radical. Kant, Kant is not rigorist in the sense that we, you have absolute rules, you must obey them. No, 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 you must even establish what the rules are. You are radically autonomous. You are responsible for, you are responsible for, uh, for, uh, for moral rules uh, themselves. And in this precise sense, for Lacan, when Lacan says that the only ethical rule admitted by psychoanalysis is do not compromise your desire, the only thing the subject can be guilty of is compromise his or her desire. What Lacan means is something along the same line, is that desire functions as a kind of a duty in the sense, again, that you are fully responsible for it. You can never say, Lacan is still, Lacan's position is still radically ethical. You can never say, sorry, I desire this. No, you are radically responsible for, for, 